Well, hello, N4H&H &H here. Check it out. Uh, something to unbox. So let's see what's in here. Well, I know what's in here, but I'm going to let it be a surprise, right? All right, let me get this tape cut off. Okay, so I got the box cut open. Uh, I um, turned the camera off in the interest of time there. So, um, hmm, looks like we have a coil, right? Uh, an antenna wire. All right, let's get the rest of this out of here. And look what it is. It's the NY4G EFHW NFED Half Wave uh, QRP waterproof um, antenna. So uh, let's see, it's got a nice winder here. It's, this one's lightweight, a QRP. There's the transformer. Ariel winds these designs, builds, winds these himself. And he's quite a perfectionist. He, as a matter of fact, if you his website is ny4gefhw.com ny4g infedhalfwave.com. That's his specialty, is halfwave antennas for portable use. Uh, now he has them that can handle up to 120 watts. Uh, this one I'm um, told is, this is brand new. It is available on the website though right now. Um, this one can handle 15 watts, uh, CW and sideband. Um, Ariel told me that he had had some people tested on sideband up to 20 watts and it seemed to be fine as well. Uh, so if you're running a 5-watt rig, a uh, 10-watt like a KX2, a 5-watt like an LNR Precision, um, which is, you know, I have the MTR uh, 4B version 2. It's a 5-watt radio. If you're running that, if you're running a radio like a KX2, 10-watt, a KX3, 15-watt, this antenna can handle all of that. Um, it operates on um, 10 meters, 15 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters and 40 meters. Now, let me show you a little something. Cause see, I've got I've got one of the models that he makes that handles uh, up to 60 watts. And so I've got this. Um, it was it was an option on mine, but he included the 30 meter band in this one. Look at this. What you do it, to operate 30 meters, you just disconnect this Anderson power pole right here. And so uh, so you've got this all stretched out. You'll see this part right here. It's got a nice carabiner um, keeping the two halves, the two pieces uh, together there. And then you've got, and it takes the strain off of this wire. But you just disconnect this black Anderson power pole and you're ready to go on 30 meters. Keep it connected and you operate 10, 15, 20, and 40. Don't need an antenna tuner or anything for that. He tunes these to perfection. Now, this other piece that was in, that I pulled out of the box first, this is a 60 meter extension. So, you know, you'll have this. What I usually do when I deploy these is I go ahead and find a limb and throw, get my rope over that limb and I anticipate that I might add the extension or I might just go ahead and add the extension. It just depends on whether I expect to operate 60 meters or not. Um, and the, so, or, or 80 meters. I've got an extension for 80 meters uh, with my other one. So, um, I'll go ahead maybe and leave enough rope so that I can then, if I didn't deploy this, I can add it. But, you know, if I want to, I can just go ahead and deploy it by connecting the carabiner. And I'll just leave this disconnected. And then when I'm ready to do 60 meters, I'll connect it. Or maybe I do 60 meters first. I'll go ahead and connect it, pull the rope up, operate 60 meters. When I get ready to operate the other bands... Let the little slack in the rope, drop it down, unplug this. So this is a 60 meter extension. Now this does cost extra, the extensions. Um, but the, uh, the, everything else you see is all part of the, the same price. So I think these are priced under $100. So again, uh, 10, 15, 20, 30, and 40, just as you see it right there. It's lightweight, of course. Uh, the transformer doesn't have to be as heavy because it's only going to handle, like I said, uh, 15 watts. 20 watt sideband would be a stretch. I would I would recommend trying to stay at 15 or less, uh, just to be on the safe side. And um, you know, the nice nice uh, 
wire winder here and then you just pull this up and over to secure it. Be better if I do it with the other hand there. There you go. And uh, it's ready to put in the backpack. I carry mine in a little uh, little bag. Uh, the uh, one of those red soda beams bags. <laughs> but uh, there you go. The transformer is super efficient, especially in the low bands, close to 97%. So almost all of the power in the soda money bands is converted to RF. I ran it on my MTR4B and the SWR was quite good. Um, let's see, with an invert, he, he set it up as an inverted V at 20 feet using RG174 feed line. You know, with, uh, with these in-fed antennas, um, for counterpoise, the, the antenna is using the shield of the coax. So um, I usually run about 10 feet of coax. I usually just slope it. I just find a limb, you know, 30 feet in the air, 40 feet in the air, throw my rope over it with a throw bag, uh, tie that, tie that to this, to this end, you know, unless you're going to use the extension, then you tie it to the extension and you hook the extension to this. So, uh, you know, get it up over that lamp, pull it up. And then this end where you're going to connect the radio, you don't want this b below five feet above ground. I'll tell you what I usually do is, um, you know, you find a limb near where you're going to sit and operate and, uh, tie it off to the limb. There's a hole right here for a rope. Um, or if you'd like, uh, I've done this with mine. I'll just attach it to my trekking pole, you know, up to the top of my trekking pole. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is really cool. Lightweight. I'm looking forward to trying this out with my MTR 4B. So I'll only, I'll be uh, murdering this thing with, with four and a half to five watts. Uh, yeah, so that it'll handle that quite well. He's got an 80 meter extension option for this as well. Because, uh, I mean, I have an 80 meter extension for my other one and it's, uh, it works the same way. You just uh, attach it the same way as a 60 meter extension. Just, you don't want to use both at the same time, you know. I want to tell you something he's going to do for you guys. Uh, viewers of n 4 h &H Radio, the day this video uploads, uh, Ariel's going to allow seven days for you to order one of these they're already available on the website but if you are seeing this video uh, and it's uh, the day that i upload the video for seven days you'll be able to go to ny4g efhw.com and use discount code n4 h and h my call sign and you'll get 20 percent off of this uh antenna again the discount code is n4 h and h now that's for the qrp Weatherproof, that's what this is called. Look up the QRP Weatherproof Infed Half Wave Antenna um, on ny4gefhw.com. Now, those of you who are Patreons, you already knew about this because you got early early knowledge of it, and so you were able to order yours already. And uh, hey, I want to thank you, Patreons. I want to try to I want to try to forge a few other special deals like that as we grow the channel, and I want to keep adding to it. Uh, doing more more kinds of deals like this, maybe with some of the suppliers, get you guys some discounts. And, you know, if we get big enough, maybe we can even get a few of the manufacturers to kick in something free uh, for, for my viewers. And again, Patreons, you know, you're going to get early uh, information about any type of specials like this. And let me, uh, I'll tell the rest of them now, the Patreons know this, um, the Patreons are able to order any of the other antennas on ny4gefhw.com for 5% off during the same time period. And of course, they were given an early opportunity to do so as well. So Patreons, I do appreciate you and uh, thank you for uh, your support for the channel to help, help us keep doing this. Because um, again, you know, the, the bigger we get, the bigger this channel gets, and your comments, you know, being read by manufacturers, you know, seeing things you want to see in a product. Hey, you know, we get big enough, they'll, they'll listen. So uh, keep putting the word out in, in 4 h and radio and uh, clicking likes and uh, subscribing and getting your friends to subscribe. And we'll grow this and, uh, we, hey, we'll get to the point where we can tell the manufacturers how we want a radio made. <laughs> and we can tell Ariel how we want his, him to build an antenna. Hi, hi. And by the way, Ariel, let me, uh, just in case you're curious, the, his name is A-R-I-E-L, A-R-I-E-L, uh, Jacala, J-A-C-A-L-A, J-A-C-A-L-A. 
and he is uh he's an engineer he's an extraordinary uh engineer and uh and i appreciate him making this available to the viewers of n4 h and h radio for this 20 percent off deal again it'll run for seven days uh starting on the day that you see this video uh upload when it first hits so you early watchers uh that's that's a good thing and and again um patreons have already had their opportunity to order some of these the I, I should mention the antenna I've been using. I mean, I was I, I mean I just go ahead and tell you I was using soda beams before, but once I use um, Ariel's antenna for the first time, the one the other one that I have, um, I'm hooked. So it's it's much easier to deploy. You know, one rope over a limb, pull this thing up, and, and I got to tell you, my friend Joel, y'all you guys all on the channel, y'all know about Joel. <laughs> Joel uh, will take his. And uh, I, I've literally watched him do this a couple of times where he just basically, he doesn't even throw a rope. He just drapes his across tree limbs, um, the, you know, for the full length of the wire, a little above head high, you know, just as far as he can reach, he'll find a limb just above his head. And he'll just drape it all across tree limbs, <laughs> somewhat horizontal. Uh, and, you know, I mean, you know, a little up and down, a little, little crooked here, a little crooked there, but he'll get it up there and man... Work, he, he'll work the world with it like that. Very, very forgiving, uh, these antennas. So laying it across a limb, the wire is insulated. You can lay it across a limb. It doesn't hurt anything. And um, like I said, Joel Joel does his just a little above head high across a bunch of limbs until he's got it uh, level. And so uh, mine, I tend to do the rope over the tree limb and let it just slope back down to me. And again, don't forget, keep this end of the antenna at least... Uh, five feet off the ground if you can. I've gotten away with trekking pole height, you know, stab my trekking pole in the ground and, and just attach this to the trekking pole itself. And I recommend using, um, I think Ariel said, if you're only going to go out to 40 meters, you know, uh, uh, five, six, seven foot uh, counterpoise is, is fine. Um, but on this one, you do not need a counterpoise. Low power. And so uh, it doesn't even have a stud for a counterpoise. On the on the wooden on the ones with the walnut handle, you know there is a place for a counterpoise because they can handle higher power. Because remember, this is using your coax for your uh, for the counterpoise, the shield of the coax. So I use a ten foot um, RG one seventy four, um, but uh, and I've even used also three sixteen. But Ariel told me that up to the forty meter band, it, it works fine with a six foot as well. So there you go, the NY4G EFHW, Infed Halfwave, QRP Weatherproof. And again, take advantage of that opportunity to use N4H&H as a discount code for seven days and uh, get one of these in the mail to, to you. If you're, if you're into portable operations and low power, uh, this is a great antenna for you. Now, if you're into field day and other operations like that and you want to run higher power, you want to look at some of his other antennas. Like I said, he has them up to um the uh, 120 watts power uh, handling and in that case by the way again uh those of you who are patreons uh during the same seven day period you will you will be able to get five percent off of those antennas but uh, your discount code is different and so and I, i'm not going to put it out in the video you get your info directly through patreon but uh patreons you uh received a message from me with that special discount code that you can use to receive a 5% discount off any of the other antennas. But everyone can get the 20% off of this one for the seven-day period. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Thank you, Patreons. Uh, and, if, and if anyone would like to become a Patreon supporter of this channel, go to www.patreon.com, patreon.com forward slash N4HNH patreon.com forward slash n4hnh and again please like the video and subscribe to the channel that helps us as well the more visibility we get and you know then your comments are going to be more visible to more people and manufacturers uh can see that and uh, you know like i said we can have some influence over how products um you know get updates and things like that improvements to products new products so i do appreciate uh the likes subscriptions comments and hey, don't forget, if you do subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Okay, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, 73 from N4 H&H. &H.